It's unique because for the very first time, an international research agency like ERI is meeting with a country at the top level. For the first time, uh, we are seeing Vietnam uh, approach uh, ERI directly to help, its, to help uh, restructure its, uh, its rice industry. Nowadays, we find that we need to uh, reform the uh, sector to make it more uh, efficient uh, and more sustainable. But what kind of rice, and how will they, how will Vietnam position itself in the global rice trade? Will it continue to be uh, cheap and abundant rice of so-so quality, or will they say, "Look, we're going to have less land available to rice." It's in our interest and it's in the interest of our farmers that they make a better living to produce a higher quality rice that can command a higher price on the global market. But they've got to overcome major threats in the world. They have competitors and there's climate change which is affecting all rice growing countries. We need to be able to provide them the scientific advantages that are necessary to overcome these challenges.